Okay, so today we are going to talk about the Tomahawk welder generator. This is a 200 amp series and we are just going to do a little bit of troubleshooting. So if the welder is working fine, the engine is turning on, but you're not getting electricity from the generator part of it, this is the video for you. So this is just going to be troubleshooting, trying to get voltage out of these DC 120 volt outlets. So just as a, like a, like a warning in, in advance, this welder is DC and the reason for that is like when you DC weld, you're gonna have a, a much more steady bead and it, the, the welder's just gonna run a lot better. If you ran a welder in AC, it, it wouldn't be the same result. So as a result, this particular outlet, it doesn't have a transformer on it, but you know, the price is pretty good. So it, it runs a, a generator output of DC 120 volt, which is gonna be different than an AC 120 volt. Uh, most, you know, name brand tools, Makita, DeWalt, Milwaukee, Bosch are going to be AC, DC tools, but say you get a cheap Harbor Freight tool, it might burn out that drill because it's just, it's not the, the same power and it's not meant to take that load. So, I mean, maybe the drill burns out the power and you have to replace it, or maybe you overload it and put something bigger. This one is 210 amps with a 60% duty cycle um, for welding, and then it's only 2,000 watt you know, inverter generator. So, you know, just a drill and some small stuff. So you, if you if you ran more stuff on it, you might you might break the circuit breaker or overload it. If, if the power's not working, th this is kind of the steps. We're, we're gonna make sure that breaker, to, and I still don't get it, turn that breaker back on. Does it work? Does it not work? First thing we'll check is, let's maybe replace the, the circuit breaker. And it's a pretty standard one. You can get one from tomahawk-power.com. And it's, uh, 230 volt, 50, 60 hertz, 23 amp breaker, trips at 28.8 amps. Um, so you're just gonna, it's on the back side of this, but you'll just replace this breaker. See if that works, start it up. If it works, great. If it doesn't, we're gonna have to replace this piece right here and we'll show you how to do that. So, okay, we're gonna start um, with our tools. We have an eight, millimeter socket wrench, a small little stubby uh, screwdriver and a, a magnet just to hold the screws. So we'll start taking this apart and we'll, we'll show you how to replace the circuit breaker first. So this is, these are metric bolts. Um, just a little eight millimeter socket wrench will do the trick. Pretty easy fix, but it's just taking your time with it. Now that we have it open, we'll, we'll give you another sneak peek. So we're gonna open up the back side of this panel.
Okay, so this piece is called a rectifier bridge. If the circuit breaker is not working, we're gonna test this rectifier bridge to see if we need to replace it. So with your multimeter, you're just gonna touch, touch each of these, these wires right here and make sure that there's um, voltage on it with your multimeter, you know, don't get electrocuted. So touch them to see if there's any like uh, voltage or amps coming through. If there's not, you're probably gonna have to replace it. So not too hard, it takes a couple screws out. You'll need probably a good place to catch those screws, like a little magnet or something. And you'll just put the new one on. If it's covered under a one year warranty with Tomahawk, you'll get one of these for free. If not, you can order them. They're relatively inexpensive. Um, you're just replacing them and then rehooking the wiring. So that is the next step. I'll show you how to do that.